Hello everyone, today I'm going to make another video based on project number 14. It's called the fuse and the objective is to show how a uh, fuse is used to break all current, current paths back to the voltage source. So the material you need is, well, nothing. See on the right, left side or right side in your perspective but you also need the circuit from project number 13, which you should also watch that video. So, I'm gonna start by just testing this thing out. So if you turn this on, the lamp should go quite brightly, and the fan should not be spinning, except for when you open it, it should spin like a little bit. And then, if you press this, the lamp will stop glowing and the fan will start spinning and when you release it the lamp should slowly regain its brightness and until it reaches like the brightest so next step pretend this is the fuse and pretend that the current is too high which could cause fire breaking the circuit which is the best case finding the worst case or just cause a lot of heat which is also horrible. And if that happens, and the current is too high, the fuse breaks because it burns out and the whole circuit breaks down. It's not gonna work even if you reset it, turn it on, press this switch, because all the ways back to the battery is broken. Like, if you go here, 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 it have one way to go or two right now it's gonna go here and then where does it go it's not gonna go anywhere so that's why it's not doing anything right now but if we have an if we have another if we have another fuse if, and if we put it back every part of the circuit will ret return to normal or should. So it's to protect the circuit and the house and the people inside it to make sure it's safe. So we're gonna end the video right here.